Hi, Tim Cant here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can remix audio using WavTool's AI stem splitting capabilities. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. So, here I have a snippet of a piece of music that I've dragged onto an audio track in WavTool. There's a link to download this clip in the video description so you can follow along. The first thing I need to do is make sure that the audio starts on the downbeat, that is, the first beat of the bar. Okay, this clip starts in just the right place, so I don't need to adjust that. But I still need to adjust the project tempo so that it's at the same BPM as the clip. I turn on the metronome to hear if the clip is in time or not. Okay, that's a little slow, so I turn up the project BPM. At 123 BPM, the metronome is in time with the clip, and now we're ready to split those stems. I open WavTools library, and I click the AI and Skills tab. I open Transform Audio, and with the clip selected, I click Stem Extract. The Stem Extractor asks me what type of stem I'd like to extract. Let's start with the vocal. So, I just click the Vocals button, and WavTool gets to work isolating it for me. When it's done, the stem extractor delivers me two clips, the isolated vocal and the clip minus the vocal. Let's take a listen. Dream of you, oh, just a memory. Did I dream of you? There's something I can see. Okay, that's sounding great. So I drag the vocal into the project and WavTool automatically creates a new audio track. We can extract other stems in just the same way. I click clear, select the clip, and this time I choose drums. I also extract bass and piano stems. So now we have vocals, drums, bass, and piano tracks. Let's mute the original clip and hear how our stems sound. We can compare the original clip and our stems by soloing the original clip. Okay, that's sounding cool. And now we have each element on its own track that we can arrange and process individually. Before we make an arrangement, let's use another of WavTool's capabilities to add another element. I select the piano clip, and this time I select Convert to MIDI. I click Convert Selected Audio to MIDI, and WavTool generates a MIDI part. To fine tune this, I silo it and turn down the density in the XY panel. Now, let's choose an instrument to play this part. In the library, I select Track Presets, Chord Instruments, and double-click Retro Pluck to assign it to the MIDI track. That's sounding nice. While we're making changes, let's add some delay to the piano part. In the library, I open Plugins and Devices, WavTool Devices, Delay, and drag Tempo Delay onto the piano track. The Tempo Delay effect is automatically connected in the Chain Editor. I set the Beats parameter to 1.5 to give the delay a different rhythm. Now, let's make an arrangement. We can do this quickly by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to duplicate clips.
OK, so here's my arrangement. But before we listen to it, I want to make a little tweak to the vocal. The vocal actually starts before the downbeat with the did I part. So to make it sound neater, I chop the did I part from the end of the vocal by selecting it, right clicking and selecting split. I then cut and paste this new clip at the start of the vocal. This prevents the vocal from starting and ending in the middle of a sentence. Now, let's check out how our remix sounds. OK, there we have it, a complete arrangement from just four bars of source material. In this tutorial, we focused on using WavTools library directly, but it's possible to access all these features using the Conductor chatbot. To see that in action, check out the AI Music Production Tips and Tricks video linked in the description. There's plenty more to learn about WavTool, so check out the other videos on the WavTool channel too. And until I see you again, have fun!